Harvey Weinstein was, is, I guess, not anymore, but was a huge producer. He did a lot of movies that are really, really creative. He had an eye for reading a script, picking out a great movie, and having it made. He was responsible for so many directors and so many stars, and now we're learning that he had a problem. Now I don't want this to be about him. I want I really just wanted to to bring something up, something that we could really learn from this whole situation. And it involves a sexual harassment in the workplace or anywhere, really. Any kind of abuse at all. If you have ever been abused, you should learn from this because the ones who came forward have created an army behind them. And this is a, a very, very important lesson. That he was basically a threat to anybody who he abused. He threatened their careers. He said, well, I'll never make movies with you again. I'll never talk to you again. But what happened was people are now coming forward. It just shows that when you tell somebody an army will be created behind you, an army of people that are on your side will help you. I've worked in the business and I know this. I've heard stories about a lot of different people that I, I don't want to mention the names and I don't know if they're true and it's really not my place to, to say anything because I, I don't know the facts. I just know what I've heard and what I've kind of seen when I was there. Unfortunately, this is one out of three producers, okay? Every one out of three producers, I guarantee you, is doing the same thing that he's doing. Maybe not at the disgusting sick level that he was doing it, because obviously there's a, a mental problem with him. I, I think that it, they say he's a predator, you could call him a rapist, you could call him whatever, but there's something in his head, there's a screw loose. This guy is mentally insane. There, there's something in his childhood. I don't know, but he definitely needs years and years and years of therapy. And the fact that he thinks that he could come back to Hollywood, that's not going to happen. He is out. Put Harvey Weinstein in the history books because his career is over. And on top of that, he's going to start getting sued. There's going to be lawsuits coming up. He's going to lose a lot of money. I know he's very, very rich, but when this kind of thing happens, he could be completely destroyed, which brings me to another point. In the coming weeks, you are going to hear a lot of stories about other producers, other people in the business that are doing the same thing that he's doing. Everyone's going to start coming forward. Hollywood is going to be flushed out. It's been falling. Hollywood has been falling like Rome. It's been falling into the shit of entertainment. They, they, they've lost everything about the movie business. This whole movie theaters are flooded with superhero movies and remakes that are just disgusting to me. Like... It's so boring at this point. I mean, so much CGI. It's, it's, it's... Hollywood is a friggin' disaster. And the fact that he's being outed is kind of hurting and devastating because the movies that the Weinstein Company were making were actually really, really good movies. And I hope that the company can continue to put out the product that they were putting out for years. We are left with crap. If they're not producing movies, the same caliber of movies that they were in the past, we are going to be submitted to cinema of shit. Basically, one pile of steaming Hollywood shit. Not even worth going to. Not even worth going to see. Everything has 3D glasses, it's just a, 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 I don't even know where to start on my, how much 
I am so disappointed in the movies today. Nobody has any good ideas anymore. And it's... Uh, I don't even know what else to say about it. It sucks. There's also this talk that's been going on for a long time about a pedophile ring in Hollywood. Now, I'm not a conspiracy guy. I don't know if it's true. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm not saying that... I mean, it could be out there. I believe it. it, it, it especially after hearing these sick stories about Harvey Weinstein. Now, my point is here that he has an option here. Now, if there was a kind of a pedophile ring in Hollywood, he's either in it or he could be thinking, you know what, I have nothing to lose now. My career is over. I am done in Hollywood. And in his head, all those people screwed him over. He might expose something like that if it's there, if he knows about it, which obviously he probably does. But that's just a thought. I'm not saying that it's true or anything. I'm just saying that's just kind of my prediction of where this might go. But one road I definitely know that this is going to go down is Harvey Weinstein's career is over. That's for sure. He's not coming back. He's, he's saying he's hoping that he gets forgiven and he could come back. But it's, it's not going to happen. He's done. He's done. It's over. His, his career is done. We might even read about him committing suicide. He's going to disappear into the fog. I, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. But it, he's done. But there is going to be other cases and the old scumbag Hollywood executives and people involved in any of this kind of thing is going to be exposed within the next month. That's my prediction. This is the fall and winter of the fall of Hollywood. Now I'm hoping that we get the garbage out and maybe we could get some women back in power there. There already are, is a lot of women in power, but the creative, more creative people, more creative women, more diversity in film. I'd love to see all of that happen and I'd love to see it on a creative level back to the way it used to be, uh, adapting books into movies, adapting plays into movies, like, and, and adapting, and scripts that are actually original and not uh, a rewrite of something that was already produced in the 80s. I I'd love to see that creative level come back into Hollywood. So I might touch on the subject again later. I don't know. I'm kind of done with it already. I'm kind of sick of hearing all the stories about the guy. I really hope that one, what I said earlier, that if you have people who have been abused in the past, I hope this entices them to come forward. The threats are not real. This is the time to tell your story because you, I promise you, you will create an army behind you and you cannot be touched. If you were abused, please, please come forward. So that's it for today. I will see you later.